And good morning and welcome to San Diego. It's just great to be here. You know, every day, you guys, most of you, are working really hard. You, you work very hard at building foundational sets of geographic information. You work hard at building operational information to bring that to life, to, to help your organizations meet your mission. This morning, you saw a lot about this idea of an intelligent map as a way to encapsulate that information and, and to really focus its delivery by giving it to the workers in your organization as well as, as, well as to citizens. At, at, at Esri, in the past few years, we've been working on an initiative we call ArcGIS for local government. And this is all about opening up your information and bringing it to life and bringing it to life in these maps and apps that you can deliver to your citizens, to your fellow workers in the organization, to help people in cities and counties and local authorities make better decisions, work more efficiently, engage with citizens, save money, really to deliver the value of GIS. Uh, today with me I have Scott Oppmann, who's the project manager for ArcGIS for local government to show us a little bit of the system. Scott. Thanks, Clint. Let's take a look at a few of the maps and apps you get when you deploy ArcGIS for local government. You'll find these maps and apps on the ArcGIS for local government resource center. In the gallery, they're organized around the work you do in local government and into a series of modules you can deploy today in your organization. Now let's take a closer look at a few of these maps and apps. The first application I'd like to show you is a tax parcel viewer. It provides property maps and tax parcel information to your citizens. I can search for my property to see what my new assessed value is. I can then share that information with others and provide feedback to my local government if I find an error on the map. The value analysis dashboard is for your assessor and budget staff who are concerned about the impact of foreclosures, sales, and assessment appeals on property value and revenue in your community. When I find a neighborhood I'd like to investigate further, I can click on a property to see how individual value is changing. I can also then look and see how changes in individual assessed value affect neighborhoods and revenue in my community. This is the Public Information Center. It's a destination for your citizens that provides information about community activities and allows citizens to engage directly with their local government. I can review construction projects and alerts to see how that may be affecting water service in my neighborhood. If I find a problem in my neighborhood I'd like to report, I can simply click on the map, enter in my problem type, and then submit it to my local government when I'm done. The next application is an election polling places application for your citizen. I can use my address to find my proper polling place, review information about upcoming elections, get directions to that polling place, and contact information about my current elected officials. The next application I'd like to show you is called the Land Use Public Comment application. It allows citizens to review pending land use cases and provide public comments so they don't have to drive down to City Hall any longer. When I find a pending land use case in my neighborhood I'd like to review, I can see detailed information provided by the applicant, design drawings submitted with the proposal, and then submit public comment to my local government now. Public safety officials need access to information and information at their fingertips when re events and activities and incidents occur in their community. The COP, or Common Operational Picture, allows the incident commander to review how an incident like this overturned tanker affects vulnerable populations in their community. They can also use the COP to coordinate response activities during an incident and event. Now, ArcGIS for Local Government comes with more than just web mapping applications. This is a mobile application used for damage assessment. It can be used on a tablet PC and in rugged conditions. You'll notice the buttons are big, so they can be used you know, with gloves on or with big fingers like I have. I can just simply tap on the screen to locate a damaged structure, complete the damage assessment form, and then submit that from the field when I'm done. Many of the maps and apps also help you manage information in your local government information model. This is a special event planning map. It allows me to coordinate response activities and prepare response plans for events happening in my community like this 5K run. When I complete my response plan, I can simply print a map and share that with police, fire, and public works agencies working the event in my community. So that was just a few of the maps and apps available with the ArcGIS for Local Government system today, and you'll find many more available on the Resource Center. 
you'll find base maps that are the foundation for your desktop web and mobile applications. Infrastructure maps and apps that help water utilities and public works agencies plan for capital projects, maintain water and sewer infrastructure, and manage field operations. Land records maps and apps that help you maintain your parcel information, produce tax map books, and provide property information on mobile devices. Planning applications that help you notify the public of pending land use cases and inspect code violations in the field. And elections applications that help you draw and delineate new precinct boundaries and publish election results on election night. In all, there are more than 50 maps and apps available with the Arctis for Local Government system today, and that list of maps and apps continues to grow. And I should probably take a minute to mention, Clint, at this point, the maps and apps in the Arctis for Local Government system are free to ArcGIS users and can be configured to meet specific needs in your organization. So this week, we've got a series of tech workshops that provide more information about the Arctis for Local Government modules that are available today. And we look forward to getting your feedback on the work we've done and your direction on what should be included in Arctis for Local Government going forward. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Clint. Pretty interesting, actually. You start to think about why do we get into GIS in the first place, really to make a difference. And that, that idea that you can start to deliver these apps to workers that help them do their job is really interesting. There's a few key things to point out about this. Number one is none of this is really possible without the information that you guys build. If you saw the detail in there, you understand that the jobs that you already do are quite important. You're already doing a lot of the hard work. Many times in the GIS industry, we've been so focused on the technology and the data compilation that we forget about how to really bring the information into life and to deliver it to our end users and our citizens. The, the, the second thing about what you saw is you saw a bunch of really simple apps. These apps are just like consumer maps that we all use every day. All your citizens, the workers in your organization, your mayors, your operations managers, everyone already uses consumer maps. They're ready for this pattern to begin to use GIS. This morning we talked a lot about this intelligent map as a way to encapsulate geographic knowledge and operations into these simple maps that you can deploy. The third thing about this system that's quite interesting is it's pretty much very easy to configure. You, you put your information into ArcGIS to open it up. Think about that. You can pick the maps and apps, department by department, that you want to enable, and then they just light up and come to life for your citizens. Imagine the kind of dashboard, that organizational dashboard that Bernie and Jeremy showed with Jack this morning. The idea that those maps and apps come to life for the workers in your organizations and for your citizens is what we're all about. And we want to work with you to build more maps and apps and to really deliver GIS and to gain value. So we'd like to thank you very much for the time you've given us and hope you have a great conference.